Alright, um, in this video we're going to do something a bit seasonal, uh, some decorations because Halloween's coming up and I thought I'd just do some things which are just made out of scrap wood which anybody can do. So the uh, first thing is well, we've got a skull, also going to be doing a little gravestone. Um, and again this this is possibly the easiest one you can do and there is a, a third one um, it was here before don't know where it's at uh, let me find it ah yeah there it is a little bat let's go and get them Classic Halloween uh, signal, could we see it? Keep watching this video and you'll see how I've made these. Um, again, as I say, it's all out of scrap wood. You don't need the machines I've got to cut it. You can just deal with them, cut them with a handsaw, fire them down, sand them down. But keep watching and you'll soon see how I've made these. Okay, so that's the bat finished. You'll have seen I sprayed it with a black spray paint. I then went over and finished it with a, an acrylic black paint and then sprayed it with a lacquer just with protection. Next, I'm going to do a skull. And for that, I'm going to use a scrap fence board, which is from the raised flower bed that I did recently. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link up here. And I'm just going to mark out the skull on here and cut it out with the bandsaw. So hopefully, they will mark on the other side.
And so there we have it. We started off making the bat, then the skull. Even though I thought when I was painting it, or when I was carving out, um, that it wouldn't be looked too good, because it was really rough. But I think the black paint has really made it look better. And even at a distance, you know, you're not going to see all the little details uh, to see any mistakes. Then, of course, we've got the gravestone. And as you'd have seen from them as well, very easy to cut out if you haven't got the machines I've got. This you could easily do with any type of saw. And then you just sand it down or file it down. The actual carving, again, you could even use a bevel edge chisel if you haven't got carving chisels. Uh, but a basic small carbon chisel is pretty cheap. Let me know in the comments if you uh, are going to try and do any of these. I would love to know if you are or if you're going to do something different. Let me know. And I uh, hope you see you in the next video.